guys welcome back and welcome if you're new in today's video I am so excited to share with you 10 DIY crafts using Dollar Tree doilies so you guys those Dollar Tree doilies come about 30 in a pack and I bought three packs and so go ahead and plug in your glue gun and we're gonna have so much fun at creating some amazing fun sparkling wonderful crafts with those Dollar Tree doilies so without further ado you guys let's jump into this 10 DIY craft ideas using a Dollar Tree doily so I just had to share with you guys these beautiful roses that Mr. Romantic bought for me for our anniversary. He was so sweet and remembered. And here is my outfit of the day. Since we're doing 10 DIY doily crafts, I thought why not to go ahead and wear a doily looking shirt over my beautiful little vest here. For the first DIY doily craft, we are going to create a beautiful, super easy, fancy doily wreath. So go ahead and grab that pack of doilies. It comes 32 to a pack and cut out about four or five of your larger doilies. And we're going to cut out the pretty part because what we want to do is hot glue that pretty part to our wreath base. Now for the wreath base form, I just found one of those um, Dollar Tree wreath bases. And this is kind of like a grapevine wreath base but you guys can use pretty much any wreath base form that you can glue to so I cut the doilies to where they had about three or four loops and then I'm just hot gluing this pretty part on so you guys, this is super easy all you need to do is just hot glue the doily part on and if you guys have a spatula or maybe the ends of your scissors you might want to use that so you don't burn your fingertips so what I did next is I went ahead and I hot glued another set of doilies the opposite direction so it really gives it that really beautiful lacy effect because I think the prettiest part of the doilies are the ends and I just really want to showcase those beautiful ends so this is the second layer and I did the opposite direction of the first layer and then I went ahead and went in with one more layer of doilies and I glued it in the same direction as I started with. So you guys can get as fancy with this as you want but I just did three layers of doilies and I did them opposite on each end. So once you guys have your doilies glued onto your wreath base, you can go ahead and take the second to the smallest doily size and you just want to pinch it in the center and give it a good twist. So this was super easy. You guys just pinch it in the center and then twist until it becomes kind of like a flower like form. And then once you have it twisted in the center, you can go ahead and add a big dollop of hot glue and just hot glue it to your doily wreath base. And then I had those pretty pearls. So I just cut one and for each doily flower, I added a beautiful sparkling pearl to the center to really glam it up. Of course, this is optional, but I think it really made it sweet. So for each flower, I kind of alternated. I alternated the smallest doily flower and then I created um, the second to the smallest doily flower. So you guys can get creative with this as well. You could even paint the tips of your doily with some spray paint, um, but I wanted this one to be all white. Um, I'm going to be using it in my Christmas decor and so you guys just alternate um, larger, smaller, larger, smaller and that will create this beautiful flower effect. And then for the hanger, I just cut a little space at the top of the doily and I ran a string of pearls through the top and that's what I'm gonna use as my hanger. You guys could also use a coordinating ribbon choice, whatever you love and whatever you have in your craft stash. I recommend going ahead and making your hanger before you guys get finished. That way you can go ahead and add your flowers in and around your hanger. Now you guys can see I'm just adding in more flowers and working my way up and around the entire wreath. You guys, I think this came out is so beautiful and I really feel like it showcased the prettiest part of the doilies. And I actually only used one pack of doilies for this wreath. So you guys, this wreath cost about a couple bucks to make and I just think it came out really, really beautiful. And of course, like I said, you guys can get creative and use different colored doilies or a different colored 
gems for the center, but look at how beautiful that is and so easy and so inexpensive. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY doily craft, we are going to go ahead and create a beautiful gift bag. Now you guys, I used these gift bags in my Christmas decor for the magazine photo shoot. So just cut a doily in half and use one of those Dollar Tree gift bags. You could use any gift bag actually for this craft. I use this pink one because it's going to go with my pink Christmas and you're just going to glue it with some Elmer's glue to the front part and then trim off those edges. Of course, you guys know me, I had to go over the top, so I did go ahead and add another layer of doilies. And if you guys have glitter that you wanna add to this, it makes it even more beautiful and sparkling. Be generous with the glue and generous with the glitter. And voila, you will have a very beautiful, fancy package. And I did even go a little bit over the top and trimmed out the top with another pretty part of the doily. Again, you guys can get completely creative and go for it and use tons of glitter and whatever colors you absolutely adore. for the next DIY doily craft we are going to do a beautiful sparkling bottle so I just measured this doily out and I ended up cutting it twice because I wanted to just use the smaller part of the doily and then you want to grab that Mod Podge and you want to go ahead and Mod Podge the front part of the doily and I also used Mod Podge over the top part of the doily so I added a layer underneath and a layer on top and you guys can probably tell I'm a little bit messy with that Mod Podge so anyway and then I cut a smaller piece Piece of doily because I wanted the entire thing to have just a beautiful kind of lacy effect and then I did go in with some more Mod Podge and I actually whipped out my Epsom salt so you guys can use Epsom salt to create a snowy effect if you're doing this for like a holiday or winter craft so I just added in some Mod Podge and then I had that glitter left over on the plate from my bag at craft and so it was kind of a glittering um, Epsom salt um, effect and I went all the way over the entire bottle with the Mod Podge the Epsom salt and the glitter. So you guys just keep adding layers. And I did even go all the way up to the neck of the bottle. And the Dollar Tree bottles come with a little cork and I of course painted my pink. And then I added just some fairy lights in and some beautiful ribbons, bows, and some of those crystals that I showed you guys from another DIY. And I thought it came out so beautiful and sparkling and so perfect just to light up a little space in your home and to really glam something up and have a beautiful light as well. For the next DIY doily craft idea, we are going to glam up this beautiful candle. What I did was I just wrapped a doily around and I left the excess at the base and then I used a piece of sheer Dollar Tree tool. I tied a bow in the back and then all you want to do is trim off the base of the doily and that way the rough edge is on the bottom and then you guys can customize this to any color and decor that you loved. I just used white for this. I think these would be amazing for wedding and bridal as well. DIY doily craft we are going to create a beautiful sparkling shredded paper ornament so just take a piece of scrap paper in your doily and you're just going to fold it back and forth and back and forth until you get all the way to the end of your piece of scrap paper and then you want to take a pair of scissors and you're just going to trim um, a small it's about a half inch um, trim for this larger Dollar Tree ornament and you're going to make this beautiful shredded paper this works perfectly in this Dollar Tree ornament and you guys can customize this to do any kind of decor. These are also beautiful to do if you want to do a vase filler or a bowl filler um, but look at how beautiful this is. I love the detail on the doilies mixed in with this pretty pink paper. It had detail on one side with the hearts and then the hot pink. I think it came out so sparkling, so beautiful and a very great DIY to do with kiddos. For 
the next DIY doily craft, we are gonna make an impromptu DIY cone. So I love making these cones. All you have to do is take your larger doily, roll it in to the shape of a cone, and then tape it. And to make it a bit extra secure, I actually ended up using two of these doilies. So wrap that second doily around a little bit longer than the first one, and then you're gonna tape it as well. Also, if you didn't want the tape to show, you could hot glue it or use um, a Mod Podge. And now you can just put a piece of a ribbon of your choice to match your decor. I just stapled my ribbon on to make it super simple and easy. And then I stuffed a little bit of crepe paper down at the bottom. And then I added in these beautiful straws and flowers. And you guys can get super creative with how you want to use this and what you want to add in to your beautiful doily paper cone. DIY doily craft we are just going to create a beautiful personalized place setting so lay down your first doily and then your plate on top of that and then you're going to choose a little bit smaller size to put on top of your plate and then I personalized this for my daughter Alyssa so I just added this pink Dollar Tree A they're a foam letter that come in a pack in the kids craft section and then a cute little pink Santa mug these are great for bridal showers baby showers and Christmas decor if you like so for the next DIY doily craft, we are going to create a really cute little banner. So I'm just using this piece of pink Dollar Tree raffia and I'm folding the smallest doily in half and folding it over on top of that piece of raffia, but you guys could use ribbon or whatever um, decor that you're making this banner for to match. So I used five of these because I'm going to spell out the words joy. So I'm just stapling them as I go and I didn't staple them to the ribbon because I want them to be able to kind of slide around if I want to rearrange the letters. And then once I have them all stapled on, I'm just going to add those foam letters that I told you guys about that come in the Dollar Tree craft section. And then I'm just adding some beautiful jewels over those staples because I really didn't want the staples to show. And how easy and fun is that for an impromptu banner? Again, you guys could get super creative with this. I wanted to make this really easy and simple. And I also believe that this would make a great kids craft or birthday party or bridal shower, baby shower idea as well. So for the next Dollar Tree doily craft DIY, we are just gonna make a cute little stocking. So I put some candy in the center part of this largest doily and then I'm hot gluing around that it's going to be kind of a candy stocking surprise. So after I got done hot gluing the doily together, I'm just going to cut it into the shape of a stocking. Now to make the boo, I did have to go ahead and cut into where I had hot glued, but I just hot glued that back together. And then I added this beautiful pink raffia, some ornaments, and then I have a cute little candy surprise stocking for one of my loved ones. For the next DIY doily craft, I just want to add a doily to the front of this package. So just take a piece of tape and tape underneath the doily, and then you're going to take a piece of tulle and wrap that onto the package to get the doily to stay. But again, you guys can get totally creative. You could glue this doily on if you wanted. I'm using tulle, and I'm going to start at the front of the package, wrap it around, tie it on the back, and then tie it to the front. And that's actually going to keep this doily on fairly well. You guys, I love using this. I use this all the time. I also use this in my magazine um, package wrapping decor and I will do an entire video on how I love to do packages and excuse my wrapping job on this package. This is just for show. So I thought it came out really beautiful though and then just add a bow to the front and you guys are golden and you have this beautiful doily customized package and it's so inexpensive and it comes out so beautiful. Next DIY doily craft, we're gonna make a cute little gift tag. This could also work as an ornament. So you guys just take a piece of paper, whatever choice of paper that you love. And I just used a glue stick. I cut the, the doily out and voila, added a little hole to the top. And again, you guys can customize this super easy and a fun way to doll up your gift tags. Or you guys can use these on a Christmas tree. And these are also a great kids craft as well. Thank you. 
So I actually have a bonus craft for you all. My daughter's gonna be teaching you all how to fold an origami rose. And you fold it from corner to corner. And then you fold it um, the other way, corner to corner. And you fold it in half one way. And then unfold it. And then you gotta fold it like in into a small triangle and fold all the sides up. both sides. Then go back and fold them back down into their cells. I just want to unfold it and push into the little um, inside and flatten it out on all the sides. Now once you're done with that, just fold the top over and look at the bottom and push your finger into the little crease and push it down into a triangle and do that on both sides. Now you just want to flip it back over and take one apart and flip it over and crease it. Now just take the top and twist it and then once you're done twisting it just try to fold the edges over. So what do you guys think about those DIY crafts using those Dollar Tree doilies? You guys comment and let me know which one was your favorite. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and be part of my YouTube family. And for everybody that keeps commenting and sharing and liking, you guys are helping me out so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you guys just keep me going on these videos and I love you so much for that. So thank you all so much and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.